Good morning. I'm halfway through getting ready, but I do just have one more part of my breakfast, if you will, that I have to have, which unfortunately is some super strong iron tablets. Again, I've just been feeling so lethargic. Jazz and I actually went for a little walk on the weekend and I literally almost passed out. I was just feeling so dead legged and like very overall fatigued. And if you kind of suffer with um, anemia or just iron deficiency in general, you will know the exact feeling that I mean. And I had been taking iron tablets daily, but they're obviously just not strong enough. So I've gone and got some blood work done and I've been recommended these other ones. So I thought I would just show you because I normally take the liquid iron. I feel like they mess with your stomach a lot less, but my friend who's a doctor recommended these, Maltofa, and you don't need a script or anything, but obviously you should take this stuff unless you need it. And I am just gonna take two every second day with some orange juice for the vitamin C for the rest of this week until I feel like I'm a little bit back more like back on top of things because I sort of did some really light at home training last week after getting back from Egypt and my stomach was not okay for the whole of last week. I was still getting so, so sick after every single meal. So ended up doing a little bit of intermittent fasting just to give it a break. And now I feel a lot better in that regard, but <clears throat> I still feel like I've got this throat thing hanging around and just generally run down, which I definitely think can kind of come along with the iron deficiency. So I just want to get on top of that, but this week I also started at Performer Pilates and I'm actually just doing a one week trial at a new studio called Core Plus and I thought I would give that a go and see how it went. So I've done three classes so far, which I really liked and next week I'm thinking I might drop down to like a good life or something and just kind of have a look at maybe joining a gym instead so I can keep doing my form workouts from the app, but also just have the option of like going and doing a normal gym thing. And I have to say, I already feel like it's doing wonders for my body, not stressing it all the time by doing BFT with like the hardcore cardio and like really, really heavy weights. So stay tuned for that, I guess, but I'm just gonna take these and then I'll finish getting ready. All right, I'm getting settled into the doing things part of my day. And one of those items has been obviously a ton of work because I had a whole bunch of new inquiries come through while I was away. So I ended up being on WhatsApp quite a bit, just taking care of a few of those. And the last week has just been a blur working on all of the new architecture and interior projects I have for my company, as well as just looking at some more courses and things where I can upscale up, up skill even further. I just feel like it's really good to always kind of be looking at what's out there in industry, what other creators are doing and not getting tied into it per se, but just having, I guess, that awareness of what your competitors are like able to provide for clients and therefore what you can kind of do as well. So that's been on my list. But another thing I thought I would do since getting back is I actually used the free version of chat GPT to make myself a meal plan because I just could not be bothered sitting there and writing it. I do it every single week and I feel like it's a little bit on the mental load side of things where you're always just doing something and you never really get time to rest. So I actually just used the free version. Jazz has the paid one, but it seemed to give a pretty good result regardless. So I thought I would just show you what it gave me because I asked for breakfast, lunch and dinner and a snack. I put in my height, my weight, um, my age, I think as like the parameters for it to work to and certain things that I can't have, like obviously it needed to be dairy free and no tomatoes and it's come up with a pretty good result. So I'll show you what I have. It's just kind of the power of ChatGPT in a way because I feel like I kind of forgot to use it sometimes and then every now and then I get a little bit inspired and I think this is the easiest way to do it other than scrolling on Pinterest for hours or whatever if you're a little bit time poor and then you can even give it a further instruction to turn that into a grocery list. So if you're having a week where you're just overwhelmed and really busy, I would definitely recommend just jumping on ChatGPT and getting it to do some of your stuff for you. So this is the output I ended up getting from ChatGPT. I initially asked for an eight week meal plan, hence the title, and it's kind of broken it down day by day. It also gives me a total amount of calories because I'd asked to be in a slight calorie deficit. So if you do exercise, it's also important to kind of pop that in there. Otherwise it might not give you enough food or it'll give you too little or whatever, sorry, too much or too little, whatever it is. But I've broken it down day by day here and there's just a bunch of different options like overnight oats, avocado toast, green smoothies, stir fries, all of that stuff that I would normally eat anyway. And I just thought this was a really quick and easy way to get a holistic sort of diet and menu going and 
I've also asked for it to be slightly repetitive too, in the sense that I would make the same lunch twice, the same dinner twice, so I don't have to buy a crazy amount of ingredients because I am just a one person household unless Jazz is coming to visit. So yeah, I just thought I would show you that because it saved me a lot of time this week. I thought I would just show you this dress super quick while I'm here as well, because it's not exactly dress weather today, but it is nice and warm in my apartment because I've got all the doors and windows shut. But this one was just from Dish and it's because so many of the girls on the Egypt tour had outfits from Dish and I always just forget to shop there because I used to shop there when I lived on the Gold Coast years ago and it was a lot cheaper back then and now it is like getting towards medium to high sort of pricing but I actually just jumped into their sales section because what I was specifically looking for was a midi length white linen skirt which I did actually get but <clears throat> I haven't actually unboxed it yet, it's just in here, but I'll pop an image of it here for you because it's a little bit too hard to show, but I ended up getting this in white and black and I got a size 8 which fits really nicely because they have like an elasticized bit on the back of the waistband that is really, really comfortable, but I got two skirts, a top and this dress for $300 in total because I bought them all from the sales section. So hot tip if you're wanting to buy some dish things, they actually had quite a lot of nice pieces that were a little bit last season put into the sale area. Behold the giant pile of clothes which seems to be growing by the day and my desire to hang them up is nowhere near where it should be so I thought you know what I actually need to get through this task because hanging up clothes is one of my least favorite things to do so I started sorting them into tops bottoms active wear finding all of the spare coat hangers and all of the above on my bed so I need to get through this task because this is always how it is after a holiday you do all of the washing and then you forget you've got to do all the hanging up and reorganizing again been hung up and I'm gonna go and make some lunch this is what I'm having for lunch today I actually had the same thing yesterday so I'd already got the cooked turkey and chopped it up and popped it in my refrigerator so I've just got some iceberg lettuce some carrot cucumber Kalmata olives that are pitted, the turkey, and then I also have a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette. And of course, to go with it, my favorite drink, which is just a really big glass of iced lemon water. This has currently been consuming a little bit of my time here this afternoon, but that is the process of putting together some finishes selections for one of my client's houses. So this is a townhouse project that I'm working on and the client has now decided that they are going to move in, which means one of the apartments will be styled to suit their taste but I think they'll both end up having this kind of theme because it's it's sort of inspired by I would say like modern Japanese sort of theme so that means featuring a couple of different greys so we've got the grey Kit Kat tiles there's some grey carpet and a terrazzo stone there's also this grainy white brick down here which will be featured on the exterior I've gone for a little bit of a light colored flooring because I think that will look really beautiful tied in with the joinery. And then all of the tapware and things is going to be black and some beautiful sheer curtains as well. So a little bit of a work in progress putting it all together, but that is what I'm thinking at the moment. Sorry if you can hear some crazy construction noise in the background of today's video, but I am actually living opposite where they are ripping down three old factories. I think they're gonna build some more apartments or something. So it has just been quite overwhelming at the moment. They've got machines in there ripping down the roofs and all sorts of stuff going on. But I'm actually about to run out the door for a haircut. So I thought I would do all of my self-care activities the last week and a half. So I got my nails done, I had a pedicure, I went to the dentist. And today is what I love to call my biannual haircut because I cannot stand going to the hairdresser at all I'm so scared of them I feel like they always want to cut more off than I say so I'm going to a beautiful place that has been my favorite for 
almost a decade now, I would say. It's Joey Scandizo in South Yarra, and they do a really beautiful cut and finish, which will be super nice. And yeah, I'm just getting a very basic, boring trim. I might recut the fringe pieces or something, but my hair has just been feeling a little bit limp and thin and like it's growing out really unevenly. So I just want to take myself and drop it off somewhere where they can do a really good job and I can get started again on keeping my hair really nice and healthy. So I'll bring you guys with me. My hair is feeling so nice and refreshed now. I had to walk outside in the wind, so it's looking a little bit crazy, but it was really nice. I just got a trim and my fringe pieces recut, and then I also let them put some strengthening bond through my hair as well. So it did cost a little bit extra, but I just thought it would be worthwhile because it was actually quite dry and damaged from the water over in Egypt. I feel like it was just ruining everyone's skin and hair. So that's a nice little update, and I might even just drop in and get another one before Christmas just to make sure it's still growing and keeping growing out at the same length instead of just growing all uneven like it sometimes does but I think I might just go for a late afternoon walk now it is at the point now in Melbourne where it doesn't kind of the sun doesn't really go down until like 7 38 p.m. so it's about six o'clock now and I was thinking I might just do a little walk before dinner and then I'll settle in for the evening and watch some Netflix <laughs> Thank you.